Hello, my name is Stephen Dungolonsky, and I'm here to show you all my work pieces of art I've made this year. Um, I have this one. I titled this one The Uprising, and it is made with acrylic paints. This is probably my favorite piece of art I'll be showing you today. Uh, I would not change anything with this piece of art. Maybe, actually, I'd probably change these strokes, make them less obvious. But otherwise, I really do like this painting. I got inspiration from Star Wars Rogue One um, from a picture I saw online. And I watched a tutorial on YouTube to do this, and then I made it my own. I did it a second time and made it my own. This one, yeah. And so that's this one. And then <coughs> this one, I titled this one Simple Lava Planet. And it was made with acrylics. Uh, I would change, what I would change? I would make this yellow. Uh, I would make it look a little bit more realistic. You can see the strokes pretty obviously, but I would make it look a bit more realistic and I would do a better job. And I got inspiration from Mustafar in Star Wars. I really like Star Wars. Um, so that's this one. And then move on to this one. This one I titled The City. Uh, this is in pen and ink. Um, I, if I had to change it, I'd add some water, like some water here, and then maybe some life with like bushes and people. Uh, I would add a bit more detail to some of these buildings, make them look more like buildings than like, uh, like this one is just white. I would make it look a bit more like a building. And I got this inspiration from architecture and uh, some Skillshare classes I was on, or that I looked at. And then this one, this is a fun one. I really enjoy building, the, ma making these space drawings. Uh, I literally titled this spaceship drawing. It's made in pen and ink. Um, I would make this big ship a bit more detailed, like add like windows and like little like dots for like the wi uh, the light coming out of the windows. And I'd add a bit more detail to these asteroids. And I'd probably color it in, which I might actually do because I like when these looked colored. Um, this is from Warhammer 40,000, which is a cool model universe that I enjoy. And I drew spaceships from them. And then this one. Uh, this one is titled Country House. This was made in pen and ink. Uh, I would, if I had to change anything, I'd add some detail to the sky and maybe add a bit more details to the trees, give it a bit more shadow and give it a bit more, um, texture and detail. Uh, I got inspiration from Utah ranches when we were driving through Utah going for like national parks. I saw some cool houses with like cool trees. And so I got some inspiration from that. And then just plain architecture, architectural videos and stuff like that. I got some inspiration from those. Uh, yeah. And then last, but definitely not the least, uh, is this one. This is a beach scene. I made this for my mother's birthday. Uh, I made it in acrylic. And things I would change. I would make the sun's rays the same color as the sun. Because I had a bit of other paint on my brush, I think, when I did this. Um, and I just overlooked that when I made it. Uh, I would make the ocean a lighter color. So it's very dark. It's more of a sky color. So I actually switched the colors when I saw that. So I would make this a bit lighter. And the waves, I would make a bit more like nice looking like they were cresting over. Uh, and I got the inspiration from New York beaches. Because I am from New York. Uh, if you can tell that in my accent. Um, and thank you very much. And I hope to create more art this next semester.